A Lakewood mom asked for an Amber Alert when her ex grabbed their child in front of her home. But police say their hands are tied. It's a battle playing out on social media. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to both parents and police. Lance, there are two sides. Jessica, we don't normally cover custody disputes, but in this case, police were willing to comment. And they said some of the heartache in this case and in others like it could have been avoided had both parents had a custody agreement signed in court. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I was worried that she was going to move out of state. Two parents worried that they'd never see their child again. Robert Archuleta says he took his son from a car in front of his ex's house because he thought she was going to move out of state. Usually boys are always close with their mothers, but with him, he's really, really close with me. He always wants to be on me. He wants to be next to me, be... He wants to lay on I me. Mean, he thinks I'm like a sofa. <laughs> Destiny Bruman says Robert isn't a fit father, that he's prone to domestic violence. She obtained a restraining order after one incident. I was holding the baby while he was hit, hitting me and choking me and slamming me to the floor. That restraining order expired and charges were dropped when Baruman failed to show up for a court hearing. She says that was the week her mother died. Archuleta says Baruman is using Josiah as collateral to get what she wants. He says he wanted Josiah in his possession until he could file for parental allocation time. Well, our investigation is, is, is still ongoing. Police say whichever parent has the child is under no obligation to share it unless there's a court order. Does that mean a, a, a parent could take a child and the other parent might not see that child again for years? Yes, that's absolutely correct. LPD's Rob Alberts says when couples break up, they often think they can work out custody themselves but it doesn't always work out. But when it doesn't work out or one of the partners suddenly sours on it, the other person is left with really the only option is to go to the local county court and apply for custody. Now, Miss Baruman's cousin tracked down Josiah and got him back for his mother. She filed for another protection order. The judge signed off on it right away. It's temporary though, and both parents will be in court later this month to argue for and against making it permanent and to perhaps discuss parenting time. Jessica?